What's up guys? <clears throat> Hope you're having a great day. So uh, today I want to talk about grooming Tosaki and like the very first steps. Um, and with like the idea of Tosaki right here. Um, but stay posted because I'm hoping to make a part 2 soon. But um, anyway, so the first thing you want to do is get the, the deep body shape, like the egg shape, like you would have in a, like a ranchu. Because um, these fish sort of take after the uh, fantail more in body shape, so they start out with a longer body. So you're going to have to groom them. But the important thing is that you don't want to mess up the tail, which is, you know, the focal point of the entire fish. So, um, a deep water like you would groom a ranchu won't work with these guys because that would ruin the tail. So instead, you have to feed them really high-protein foods and kind of power feed them, which means, you know, overfeeding them basically every couple of days and then not feeding them at all for a few days after that. So, um, that's what I've been doing. Some of these guys, I did miss a few feedings and some of these guys didn't turn out that well. I think could just be because, you know, genetics. But um, that's what you're going to have to do to get that deep body shape. Um, the other thing you should do would be um, get shallow water instead of deep water and have a really powerful air pump. That's what I did for a while. Um, it also helps build a strong tail muscle. So when they get older, they won't, you know, just swim hard and collapse the tail when they're swimming. So that's what I did. And they seem to have decent tails. Uh, some of them have kind of, you know more fan tail but some of them do have some pretty good tails and they are getting some nice tail flips and uh they these guys are really past due needing to be put in the the bowls and i have a plan where i'm going to uh get some colanders and put them in like a 50 gallon tub to keep the water quality under control and then they'll be in the colanders which will give them that sort of bowl shape but you know they will have the poor water quality anyway thanks for watching i'll make a part two soon and please consider liking and subscribing thanks